Hello Blazers, uh, it is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian. Hi guys, today welcome to a brand new video and here we are today again in the center of St. Petersburg. Today we're doing yet another Russian Q&A, but this time it's actually going to be St. Petersburg themes. I went to my Instagram once again and asked you guys to ask me any sort of personal questions or any questions about Russia that you're interested in and now I'm going to be responding to the best ones in this video. If you guys want your question to be answered in the next video, then make sure to follow my Instagram and be on the lookout for the next time I do this. Let's get into it. First question, isn't St. Petersburg still kind of trashy and dirty compared to real Europe? First of all, how dare you? How dare you say that? I mean, look around. We're in the center. Do you see a single speck? Do you see a single speck of shit on the ground? I don't. I mean, admittedly, we're like next to the most bougie hotel here or whatever. Maybe it's not the greatest representation of uh, St. Petersburg as a whole, but to be honest, right? I don't want to be the guy. I don't want to be like, you know, on Russian TV, they like to hate on Europe and always say that, oh, you know, Paris and like Rome or whatever, all these cities are like complete hell holes, you know, just dirty and trash and stuff. And Russia is great, you know, it's clean. But to be honest, admittedly, I do feel like St. Petersburg is a lot cleaner than Rome, for example, in, in uh, a lot of areas. I've been to Rome and uh, in a lot of, it's a beautiful city, don't get me wrong, but in some places, yeah, it's pretty trashy. So yes, uh, first of all, St. Petersburg is real Europe. And second of all, no, I don't think it's as trashy or dirty. I think it's actually more clean. Next question, how much are women by the hour in St. Petersburg compared to Moscow or other provinces? What kind of questions are these? Honestly, dude, I would not know. I'm not down bad, okay? I, I don't have to pay, you know, six foot four Sigma chats don't have to pay. Does it feel strange to be in a place with so much history? Uh, yes, of course. I mean, like I said, if you watch my uh, apartment tour video, uh, I said that my apartment building was actually built in the 1870s. So it's actually insane to imagine all the history that place has seen. It's been through the Tsarist times of Russia. It's been through the Russian Revolution, the siege of Leningrad. You know, I mean, it's insane. It's insane. Probably a few people died uh, in that apartment. So yeah, obviously compared to, you know, an average comic block in Chelyabinsk, which was built in the 30s, yes, it's a bit crazy. Is English a bigger part of your life now in St. Petersburg? Is it more common slash useful? I mean, actually, yes, that is true because um, actually there's a lot of places here where the people that work in shops or whatever only speak English and I actually find that very bizarre. Here's the thing. The other day I was actually hanging out with a friend of mine and we went to, that, to this like uh, food market thing and they had like this shawarma place and there was a, an Egyptian guy working there who would only take orders in English. So if you're like only a Russian speaking guy, then uh, no, you cannot order. And the other day as well, I was walking here in the city center and I walked in into some like uh, shop that sells uh, just home appliances or whatever. I walk in and I start, start talking to the guy in Russian. I'm like, Здрасте, у вас есть uh, this and that, the other thing. And he's like, а, извините, я чуть-чуть говорю по-русски. Can you speak English? I'm like, what? They hire shop assistants here who don't even speak Russian. I mean, it's, it's just bizarre. I mean, they have, I guess, the assumption that the people that live in the center of St. Petersburg automatically should be able to speak English because if a person walks in there and he's not able to speak uh, any English, I mean, then he's going to be having trouble buying Things. So yeah, from that point of view, I guess, yes, you could say that, uh, you know, English has become a little bit more useful as well because sometimes like shop assistants in uh, stores would not even speak Russian, which I find so bizarre, but it's pretty cool. Is it true that St. Petersburg weather is depressive? All right, well, yes. I mean, just look at the, you know, what we're filming, what conditions we're filming in. I mean, it's a pretty gray, you know, the, it's pretty grim, the skies are gray and everything. And uh, apparently, uh, I was talking to actually a local here. She said that since, you know, St. Petersburg is pretty grim at times and you don't get a lot of sun, especially in the winter or in the uh, late uh, autumn, it basically means that uh, actually you have to consume a lot of vitamin D to in order to not get depressed because St. Petersburg uh, residents get so little sun that if you don't consume any vitamin D, that you're supposed to get, you know, from the uh, from the from the sun rays up there. You're actually gonna get depressed and you're gonna wanna off yourself. So uh, I still haven't bought my vitamin D yet, but definitely when I'm gonna go to the uh, chemist shop, that's one first thing I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get some vitamin D. Why do you rent instead of buying an apartment? Isn't that a bad investment? I mean, dude, how how rich do you think I am? I mean, I need at least like a hundred thousand. Actually, way way more. Uh, probably like two hundred thousand to get an apartment in the city center. Probably like a comparable location to what I have. I mean, not even comparable. It's actually gonna be way worse. I mean, the prices right now for apartments are insane. So uh, donate to my Patreon and then maybe, hopefully, I'm going to be able to afford a, a $10 billion apartment in the center of St. Petersburg. You know, uh, right now though, you know, that is not the case. Do you feel like people are more open-minded in St. Petersburg compared to provincial cities? And I actually got a couple of questions like this. In SPB, do you have to worry about your safety on the streets? Are there bad neighborhoods? Do the people in SPB act or dress differently than in Chelyabinsk? Definitely that is a thing. I mean, uh, since this is, you know, a more centralized city with a lot more people, first of all, people just mind their business more. One thing that is very, uh, you know, common that happens to me in Chelyabinsk is that people look at me like I'm a fucking freak, okay? To be honest, like, I mean, you know, yes, I have drip, uh, clearly, obviously, but, you know, I have long hair, I have 
have ear piercings or whatever and uh, sometimes people in Chilebins literally react to me like I have like cock you know growing out of my fucking forehead I mean it's insane people like I pass on the, on the street and people are like <gasps> dude have you seen a fucking person before I mean it's insane especially also if I'm vlogging in Chilebins uh, or you know dude I'm a, I'm a head turner everybody's gonna be looking at me here in St. Petersburg what I like and the same as Moscow was in Moscow as well as that people just mind their business they don't give a shit about me okay that's I love that there's just so much people in the city and so much more people in the city just look so much weirder than me you have all these like borderline fanboys walking around all these like zoomers dressed in super bright colors super weird outfits with the colored hair and everything nobody cares I look like the biggest normie ever here in St. Petersburg right and I love that because I can be anywhere and people literally I never turn the head I've not I've never noticed one person turning turning the head at me like I'm a weirdo cuz I'm not <laughs> I mean the comments are probably gonna have a different opinion but I don't think so so yeah I guess I cannot really say if people are more open-minded although you know I hope they are I just think people here really um, you know they're busy with the life in the big city they're minding their own business they're busy with stuff and uh, especially if you're out here in the center of the city nobody really cares and uh, you can basically look like anything I like that that's exactly what I want because in Chilebins you know being the fucking center of attention that I do not want to be is annoying did you vote in the Russian legislative elections last week actually no I did not because um, that was actually the time uh, when uh, you know the whole thing was happening it was like 16th 17th 18th of September that was actually when I just came to st. Petersburg and started to look for an apartment and everything and also obviously since I was not in my region where I'm registered in Chilebins I don't think I could really vote I have to deal with the registration and everything so no I did not end up voting because I was just busy with the moving process and to be honest I don't care <laughs> Any shady neighborhoods around you, just so you don't forget Chilebinsk. Uh, you know, actually a pretty common question too, I got this, like, uh, another question like this, which is, uh, what are the SPB hoods and outer suburbs like? Well, first of all, no, around me, where I live, you know, like I said, I'm basically in the center center. No, there's no shady neighborhood around. Actually, I was hanging out with a St. Petersburg local here recently, and he was like, I'm gonna show you a shady neighborhood, it's so scary and stuff, and he took us there, and dude, it was like the nicest place in Chilebinsk. No, and I mean, this looks amazing right here, I mean, the incredible scenery and everything. As far as uh, the Outs, hoods and suburbs of St. Petersburg, I mean, they pretty much look like uh, any regular Russian city, you know, with the commie blocks and everything, it just, uh, it's it's basically like, if you go to Chilebinsk or St. Petersburg, it's kind of the same. I mean, it will, it will be it will be a little bit more well-developed, there's just going to be more people there, but no, it's basically the same. And this is actually the reason why I didn't want to stay in an outs suburb or an outs hood, is because at that point, it's like, it's the same as living in Chilebinsk. So what is the point? I, there is no point, so that is why we're here. We made it out of the hoods. What is the weirdest thing that you've seen in St. Petersburg? Petersburg so far. Uh, actually, um, I wouldn't say this is one single thing, but just something that I noticed is that there's a lot more like crazy, you know, crazy city people walking around. So, for example, it's, you know, it's a big city, so it creates <laughs> a lot more, you know, insane people here and there. Uh, for example, the other day, I just saw this guy that was really uh, interesting. He would, uh, he had drumsticks in his hand and he literally would just uh, walk on the street and he would hit every single surface he can find and would play like a melody on it. It's not like he was trying to perform or anything. He was just doing it. You find those little people with uh, little twists uh, and, you know little quirks all the time and uh, I think it's pretty fascinating now somebody also asked me uh, how much do prices differ across Russia like stuff like not just rents but groceries and uh, services and public transport and everything uh, yes by the way check out one of these uh, uh, you know, the, uh, guided tours on a uh, on whatever these things are it's cool i wish i could record on one of these but there's always the guys talking so uh, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a hassle and you know yes as far as prices go um i actually got asked as well is uh, how you know much more expensive for st petersburg compared to chilebins quite a bit i mean even uh, transport is more expensive for example i think uh, bus fares and stuff like that are at least if not two times then one one and a half times more expensive as far as rent goes obviously it's going to be like two times more expensive we already discussed that check out my video on my apartment tour as far as groceries go i'd say it's the same uh uh, basically, I mean, uh, throughout the entirety of Russia, it's pretty similar. Though I think there is a bit of a uh, margin, a bit of a more of an added tax or something. I don't know. I have no idea about this, but I do feel like groceries are slightly expensive, a little bit. And uh, services, yes, they're more expensive. Like just communal services in your apartments. Uh, I, for my communal services in my apartment here in the center, I pay way more than I would for the communal services in my apartment in the center of Chilevinsk. It's just the way it is, you know, the hardships of living in the big city. Anyways guys, I guess that is going to be pretty much it for this video. Hopefully I answered some of your questions, something you were interested about in uh, St. Petersburg.
If you guys did enjoy this video, then please make sure to, you know, slap the like on it, yada yada yada, subscribe if you're new. If you also guys want to support me additionally, then make sure to go over to the link down in the description to my Patreon, donate to which I would gladly appreciate it, you know, help, help fund my life in St. Petersburg. <laughs> Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.